Just to let you know, having pretty girls shake their big peaches in your video does not take away the fact that your music is more crap pop rather than Korean pop. Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's Ivan Steph and you guys, the man, the myth, the legend, Ollie London is back. This is the guy who spent over $150,000 on plastic surgery to turn himself Korean. And when I tell you that this guy thinks he's Korean, I'm not joking. Like this guy genuinely thinks he's Korean. Hey yo, I'm a Asian check. No, no, no. This guy is 1% British and 99% plastic. This guy consists of so much plastic that I think Barbie herself would be jealous of him. Ollie London is so convinced that he's Korean that he even decided to teach an actual Korean how to speak Korean. Okay, your Korean is really good, but it's actually Salang Hey. Salang Hey, okay? So repeat after me. Salang Hey. Good job. Ciao, yo. This creature, Ollie London, he is truly a disgrace to Korean people, British people, green eyed people, brown eyebrowed people, and just pretty much every human out there. Either aliens haven't made contact with humans because of him, or maybe he's the alien. But regardless, this guy, he is very interesting. Anyways, like I said, Ollie London is back and this time he released a music video for his new song titled Korea Boo. So for those who don't know what a Korea Boo is, according to Urban Dictionary, it means someone who is obsessed with Korean culture so much they denounce their own culture and call themselves Korean. So essentially, a Korea Boo is someone who is absolutely obsessed with Korean culture and tries to be a part of it. In other words, you could say that it's cultural appropriation or according to Ollie London, cultural appreciation. I'm not actually changing my race. I have a deep respect for Korean culture. It's cultural appreciation, not cultural appropriation. Hey, there's a bullshit. <laughs> So, Ollie London is pretty much the definition of a Korea boo, so much that he decided to make a song called Korea Boo. But he decided to change the definition of it too. A person loved and adored by many K pop fans, considered an icon in Korea, and worshipped and adored by the people of Korea. Either this guy is blind and deaf, or just a narcissist. Because judging by his pathetic dislike ratio, the countless reaction videos that Koreans have made to express their anger towards him, and the infinite amount of hate comments he gets, I can safely say that he is is not loved by the people of Korea. And not just the people of Korea, but I mean, just the people of this world. Okay, so for today's video, we're gonna be watching a bit of the music video, roasting it and exposing it. But just before we do, if y'all could leave a like on this video and subscribe if you haven't already, it truly would mean the world to me. But anyways, as always, let's roll the clip. Oh boy. Okay, I'm gonna be nice and start this off with a good note. At least this song doesn't have as much autotune as in his previous one, Christmas in Korea. And the production does look a little bit better because at least he's not standing in front of a cheap green screen with fake snowflakes falling down the screen. But these outfits, I mean, come on, what is he wearing? At first, this dude is wearing a crown, probably because he thinks he's the king of Korea. I recently even made a TikTok about Ali London and he commented on it saying that he's the king of Korea. No, 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 I think this guy is mistaken. He's not the king of Korea. He's the king of getting laughed at. Anyway, so then in the music video, he's wearing some type of outfit, which I have no idea what it's supposed to be. At first, I thought that it might be a naked rabbit, but then because it's pink, I kind of thought that maybe it's a pig. I don't know, maybe you guys need to enlighten me, but I have no idea what that has to do with Korea, Korea booze, or K-pop. That suit is making Ollie London look like it's October 31st, and he bought that thing at Party City. Over this, my K-pop addiction, this is the place that brought me perfection. Oh my god, seizure alert. Okay, can we just take a moment to look at the gang that he's pulling up with? We got this guy here who I think is supposed to be the mini version of him. Oh god, one Ollie London is far more than enough. Then we got this cheerleader in pigtails. Wow, I, I wouldn't want to approach this girl and even risk getting hit with those pom-poms. Jake Paul better watch out because he's got some serious competition now. Also, the way that Ollie London was pointing at me with his two hands, 
I feel violated. Honestly, all I can say is that if I was walking down an alley and these people approached me, I would piss my pants, suck on my thumb, and run all the way to Narnia crying to my mommy. Hey you, scream and shout, there's no doubt. I'm obsessed with Korean culture. They tell me I'm a vulture. Hey you, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? Korea boo is coming for you. Okay, at least Oily London Bridge is falling down, knows that he's obsessed with the Korean culture. I'm obsessed with Korean culture. And look, it's completely okay to appreciate someone's culture, but we can all agree that what this guy is doing, it just takes it way too far to a point where it's offensive. And also, as I was listening to this song, I realized that it sounded very familiar, and that's when it occurred to me. It's a copy of two songs. The instrumental sounds exactly like Gangnam Style. Tell me I'm a vulture. Hey, you. Wow, so not only is Alway London obsessed with the Korean culture, but now he is stealing from the Korean culture. And the lyrics from his song are copied from the song Bad Boys. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Korea boo is coming for you. Even Alway knows that although he has money, he does not have any talent, so he needs to steal from other people to make up for it. Hey, you. What you gonna do? Scream and shout. There's no doubt. Oh my, that poor dog. I, I just feel bad for it. It looks so done with life right now. I can guarantee you that after it was done filming this music video, it was diagnosed with depression and PTSD. Like, just look at the poor thing. It clearly does not want to be there. Damn it. I was really hoping that he would trip over that rope. And also, did you guys see his hat? Make Korea booze great again. <sighs> When were they ever great to begin with? Korea boo is coming for you. Denounce my home. Now I'm sitting on the Korean throne. I'm the king of K-pop. My love took me to the top. Hey you, what you gonna do? The king of K-pop. Wow, that is just disrespectful. There's no way that he actually thinks he's the king of Korean pop. Like I said before, I think he's got it in his K's and C's mixed up because this is crap pop, not Korean pop. This music video looks like it was filmed by a bunch of grade seven students for a school project. Actually, wait. No, me saying that would be disrespectful to the students. Oh my god. What the f was that? What did I just see? I, I actually have to go wash out my eyes. What the actual. Oh my god. I think I'm actually gonna be scarred for life. Honestly, all the way London, if you're watching this right now, I am going to give you some advice, okay? I would say stop all this K-pop nonsense, your obsession with Korea and Jimin and BTS and all of that. Drop all this and go into acting, go into a horror movie. I think that all the way London would actually do a decent job at playing some type of horror villain. Like, genuinely, I, I mean that. The fact that this music video was released on May 2nd, my mom's birthday, I actually feel bad for her. Anyways, that's gonna do it for listening to this. I don't even know what genre of music this is. I've said this a million times before and I will say it again. Ollie London has created his own music genre, C-pop. Anyways, if you did enjoy me reacting, roasting, and exposing this song, be sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe if you haven't already. What are your thoughts about all of this? Leave a comment down below and I will be hearting and replying to a bunch of comments. Also, make sure to follow me on my social media, especially my TikTok, because I've been really active on there. But anyways, until next time, it's Benjamin Steph. Peace.